Hello YouTube. I just want to show you some pretty cool new stuff that we got in. Look at this cassette deck. It is so fat. Oh my god. It's 80s though. It's pretty cool. Digital display. And then you press play. Plays the tape. You can see everything. It has the levels right there on a nice big display. Which is awesome. There's a tape counter right there. It's got memory settings. Dolby. It's good enough to be a professional unit, pretty much, as far as recording and stuff goes. And, of course, I think, uh, I didn't, I, I sent photos of this Pioneer to people on TeamSpeak, but this is a big, big-ass Pioneer. 650 watt. Yeah. Gigantic. It's got, uh, some problems with it, as far as loose connections go, but other than that, it sounds awesome. We got another Fisher in. This time it's a uh, 400, and this is just before the 500 series, the 500C right there. This one does not have uh, a treble control for whatever reason. It just has bass, and that's it, which I think is really limited and really stupid. And the loudness contour is a switch rather than a, uh, a knob. And judging by the feel of this on-off switch, this switch is probably going to go soon yeah but the real showcase of what we got in is this baby a soda sapphire bras mach yeah <laughs> this thing is beautiful look at that it's out of the 80s I believe Some of the models of these turntables actually had vacuum seals that would hold the record down. So if you had warps or something, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't really be an issue because it would just hold the record down by vacuum. So it would actually come with a pump. This, this one, however, does not have a vacuum lip. This is just a straight-up turntable. All right, I just thought I'd show you the, those things. And uh, just this thing is so damn pretty. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was it. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.